G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. I do hope that you are super well. Indeed, perhaps the most exciting lens for me ever has now been development announced. Yes, it is the 85mm 1.2 along with the 26mm 2.8, which appears to be a pancake lens. By the look of the mount to size ratio, it may well be something like two centimeters long. Really small. Both of these lenses are super exciting, and of course, I think they'll be at either end of the spectrum when it comes to price. But let's talk about the 85mm 1.2 and why I and you, we, should be so excited. And this here is why we should be so excited about the 85 1.2. This lens, as I've talked about often and recently, is probably my favorite Z lens to date. This is the 50 millimeter 1.2. Now, it might not seem immediately obvious to everybody why these lenses are so exciting. And look, it's probably super duper dependent on your use case. What type of photographer or filmmaker are you? And why would you want an 85 mil 1.2? Now, some will immediately off the bat say, yeah, you just want to get this lens for bragging rights. And this is absolutely, from my perspective, not the reason why I might spend the multiple thousands of dollars here in Australia that a lens like this will cost. This 50mm 1.2 I have used in numerous professional environments as well as using it for my own art photography and, of course, a great deal on this channel. This lens, it delivers. It delivers a certain look. It delivers a lack of focus breathing. It delivers extraordinary suppression of flare and aberrations. And I believe this lens will absolutely point us towards what the 85 1.2 will be all about. And let's face it, this lens is two years, more than two years, newer than the 50mm 1.2. So as Nikon continues to work on new technologies, new ways of doing things, this technology will end up in this newer product. Thus, I don't think it's too big a stretch to suggest that the Nikon 85 1.2 could be one of the best prime lenses Nikon has ever made, if not the best prime lens Nikon has ever made, and may well be one of the best auto-focusing and auto-aperture, fully metadata incorporated prime lenses ever made. I can't tell you how excited I am about this development announcement. This lens is obviously coming soon. I suppose it could be anywhere from, I don't know, one month to six months, as we've talked about before. It's hard to say with these sorts of things, development announcements don't really happen that often. But it's here, it's real, we can see it. That means it's not too far away. Wow. Now, I'll quickly read to you what Nikon's press release says about this lens. Nikon is developing the Nikkor Z85 f1.2 S, a fast mid telephoto prime lens. The Nikkor 85 1.2 S is part of the S line Nikkor Z lens series and realizes both superior rendering performance and large, beautiful bokeh. It expands possibilities for users capturing portraits in areas such as weddings and fashion. For me, this lens opens up so many opportunities around expression of image, around creativity. I've been a photographic artist a long time, and I'm always looking to push into new areas. I'm always trying to photograph on the edge of the envelope. What a lens like this does, even more so than the 50mm 1.2, is it gives us even more separation between the in-focus subject and the foreground or the background. Obviously, we can get both. 
So it gives us that immense separation, this, this ability to create this 3D look within this flat medium. And that is something that I have always strived for my entire career. And then of course, the other thing that it does, having a 1.2 aperture, it gives us an astonishing capacity to shoot in low light. And this is a long lens. I mean, it's 85 mil. If you crop it DX, you get out to 127.5 mil. Or as Joe and I like to talk about a fair bit, if you're shooting in 4K on your Z9, and you can crop to 2.3 times, and then you're out almost at 200 mil at f 1.2 shooting in 4k in slow motion so let's just say that again you are at almost 200 millimeter equivalent at 1.2 this is a lot of lens it's got so much creative exciting potential out on the edge of the envelope and again, if it's like the 50mm 1.2, things like focus breathing will be super suppressed. And I'm sure, I'm positive, if it's going to follow in the footsteps of this 50mm 1.2, it will be optical perfection, or very, very close to it, because the 50mm 1.2 is very, very close to it. So close, well, I'm just happy to call it near on perfect. Let's not underestimate the value of a lens like this in a photographer's kit, whether you're an enthusiast who just loves to absolutely push the envelope and excel visually, or whether you're a professional looking to create images that not that many people can create because they're not out here shooting on the limits. I can't wait for this lens to arrive whenever it does, and I hope you are as excited as I am about the potential for this lens to allow further expression for you and me as photographic and cinematic artists. 85 1.2, development announced and coming soon. I'm pumped. 26 millimeter 2.8, look, that's an exciting lens. Right now, I'm shooting on a Z6 over there. This is the same Z6 I've been shooting on for something like four years. It's got the 40 mil 2.8 on the front, which we can see is doing an absolutely awesome job. So again, to think about what the 26 2.8 might be, I think it's gonna be in a similar category, a similar pedigree to this lens, along with the 28 mil 2.8, or as I like to call it, the 28 28. This is pretty close. That's the 28 28. This will be the 26 2.8. Now these lenses are great because what it means for someone like me is that you, you can get your 1.2 glass and you can take it out and you can have absolute cutting edge, the best technology that money can buy and create the most outstanding outcomes. Great. But then when you just want to be not that photographer, but a different type of photographer, and maybe you want to travel light on your ZFC or maybe you want to travel light on your Z6 like we are right here. And then a lens like this, which looks like it's two centimeters, one inch out of the front of the camera. And as we can see with the 28 2.8, this is a super compact lens. And by the look of it, the 26 2.8 is even more compact than this. And this lens is great. You can pop it on the front of your Z whatever, and it looks spectacular. And whether you choose whether to pop it on a Z50 and have such a, a tiny kit that's so light and so small. Again, this points the way to what the 26 2.8 will probably be. It will be small, it'll be light, it'll be affordable, but it will still be optically awesome. And as I said, we're shooting with the 40mm 2.0 right now over there. All of these lenses are awesome. Can't wait for that. So please, everybody, do let me know in the comments below. Are you interested in the 85 1.2 or are you interested in the 26 2.8? Are any of those or either of those on your future shopping list? Please let me know in the comments below. Well, it's been fantastic to see you. Here we are back in the new year, 2023. 
more exciting stuff coming from Nikon. And coming up next, in my next video, we will talk about some of the other news around the web, including the latest from Panasonic. It's been so good to see you. And if this is your first time here, I would love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, and please like, and take care. Get out there and make art. And please, if you'd like to support the channel, jump in the show more notes below and click on the calendar link. Grab yourself a calendar. We send them all over the world. It makes a big difference to me and to the channel. All right, look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.